Well, are we actually live this time? It's taken me three times to get this live stream up. I did it, I got, it totally glitched out the first time. Hey guys, total, don't ask me, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know, I, I just, we have, I have gone and taken care of farm business today, got home and the Lord said, go do a live stream. I said, okay, I'm doing what I'm told. I'm doing what I'm told. So I did the first one. Did you? I don't know if you what you saw. I'm sitting here, probably, you know, going, what, what do I do here? I couldn't. It glitched me out. That's right. Get on out of here, devil, because you know what I'm about to say. That's right. And then, it, then it's when I disconnected it and tried it again. It said unable to connect to stream. Or I've never seen that before. Never seen it before. We got all kinds of faces. Get on up in here. We're going to have revival today. <laughs> We're going to do it. Oh, these pe some people are like, what's a revival? Well, we're gonna, you're going to find out how we run things here in Tennessee. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I'm going to try to move fairly fast. I'm going to talk as long as I can. If I get glitched out, we're just going to call it a day and go on. But I'm going to tell you right now, do you know what I got this morning? At After 6 o'clock, I heard my phone go ding, ding. And I was like, oh, because I don't, I don't I, you know, I worry about stuff like that. You know, you worry about people and things going on. And I want you to know that my elder, first thing this morning, on her, with just out of the blue, first thing in the morning, said, you, we, you be telling everybody about Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but do you get, do, does your, does your, your uh, Cherokee elder, uh, that's like your mammal, you, you know, out of the blue, wakes you up first thing in the morning and says we need to be telling everybody about Jesus nothing is holding the Lord back Patera let that sink in let that sink in let that sink in so I know everybody's wanting me to get on here and rant and rave about all the things that have happened in Tennessee this week I'm not and I certainly know that you want me to have a lot to say about what's going on with President Donald J. Trump. I might a little, but I think it's very clear where we are these days, folks, and um, we have got to be bold. We have got to be preparing. We have got to not fear. We have got to be speaking, and we have got to be telling everybody, 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 we're going to have to be bold, people. I didn't say be disruptive, and I didn't say cause problems. I said we're just going to have to be bold. I've had a couple of people today that are mad at me or got real snarky with me because they think that I should be telling you to go fight people. I didn't say that, and I'm not going to tell you to do that. I think the most sound mind giving, telling you what's going on right now, absolutely, you may disagree with me, that's all right. It's all going to come out. It's all going to... Hey, it doesn't matter if people disagree with you, disagree with me, disagree with us or whatever. It's all... Honey, it's all coming out in the wash. It's all coming out. It don't matter if you make your detergent. It don't matter if you buy Tide. It don't matter if you add the little sprinkly doo dilly little uh, what dipping dot things in there. Make it smell all good. It's all going to come out in the wash. Just let it roll, baby. But let me tell you right now, Glenn Beck, if you have not been paying attention to him, I had the privilege of going to meet Glenn Beck. It's been many years. And I'm telling you right now, he is fantastic. And he, out of everybody that has, now his timing may be off and he'll be the first to tell you all these things. And he isn't perfect. I don't, I don't put my, I don't, I don't as much as some of y'all think. And I think the misconception is, I think a lot of people think that we put our stock into other human beings. No, I don't. No, I don't. I put my stock into human beings that allow me to allow, that don't, that don't allow me to do nothing, but don't get in the way of me trying to do what I need to do as a individual, a patriot, a taxpayer, a mother, a Christian, and, and, and it shouldn't be for any of y'all. So, um, folks, I'm going to tell you what, people want you to fight. 
Listen to me. You may have a difference of opinion. I've had a couple people smart off and say, I thought you were a history major. You know, I don't think people had these attitudes in 1776. Well, you're dumb as a rock because only 3% of the, the, uh, the colonists here actually really are the ones that went and fought for you. So uh, the, <laughs> the large percentage of people did not fight. So go back to history lesson 101 there before you try to come school me. That's why 3% people. But here's the thing. Glenn Beck and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna try. To, I'm not trying to. I was sitting there going, yes, yes, yes. And my head was bobbing. I, I was running up in the aisles in church today in the car. James was driving. I was like, yes. They want you to fight, and the reason they want you to fight, and they want to draw you out into a crowd, and they want you to react, and they want you to do these things, is so they can absolutely blame you for the entire potential. I'm gonna say potential because we don't know the timing. I'm going to say potential collapse that you are in. You better believe it. They want to blame you. They want to blame you. They want to blame me. Yang will blame me. <clears throat> Recognize what's going on and be heavy in prayer. Absolutely. I mean, I'm telling you right now, it's like, the, I don't know. Did you feel the shift yesterday? Have you not even, we've talked about this before. Have you been feeling that shift it's like it's just taking you and just stir, it's just, that's a spiritual warfare that we're all in the middle of right now. And I've had people to different, different people, people are, listen to me, people are scared. They are scared. Older generations right now are scared. Some of them are very scared because they, they're smart enough and they've seen enough and they've lived through enough to go, Okay, young people don't understand this. They're not looking for it. So if you're scared, you're human. Don't, don't beat yourself up. That's what we are. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you may never watch a video from me again. I will not claim to be a perfect person, but I'm gonna do the very best that I can. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, we have got to not only get to know Jesus ourselves better, if you have not accepted the Lord and Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, we have, then you need to, I'm praying that you, that your heart is convicted today. What have you got to lose? What have you got, what have you got to lose? <laughs> I mean, think about it. Okay. Do not allow, and I am speaking to myself too, I, listen to me, we cannot allow the things that we have been seeing over the last particular five days to stop. First of all, let me tell you something, and I have to remind myself of this too. Don't let this scare you. It overwhelms me, and I admit that to you as a human mama. We're not stopping what's happening. I'm sorry, we're not. What we have to do is decide how we're going to handle it. That's where we are right now. Do you hear me? I'm telling my own self. I have. It has taken me hours. I was going to film this in a video, and I said, nope, we're going live. We're just going to push it. And then, you know, I got glitched out a couple of times. You can just step on out of here, devil. You can just get on it. You just need to just go on over there. Take it over there, that mountain. Because we ain't having it today. No, we're not. No. We, I'm telling you right now, we are in a free fall, free for all, free fall. Are there distractions? Yes. But the things that are going on also are to show out in front of you and to intimidate you. And we got to be smarter. We got to be smarter. We got to be smarter. This is not about, so, so at some, you know, you had an individual or two that want me to be this uproared person which i'm getting there you're I'm, I'm i'm i've got this new shirt with bigfoot on it and i just love it i've worn it three times this week i've washed it don't worry <laughs> i've washed it and i hang it in my little wash area and i'm like i'm wearing that tomorrow i love it so i'm just saying the distractions are somebody said earlier they're like this whole thing with donald trump is fake and it's just all gonna be it's just a distraction i disagree with you on one part, 
I don't believe it's just a distraction. I think it's to shove in your face, and I think it's absolutely true. If they can do all of these things to that individual, what makes you think they're not going to do it to you? They're trying to, sh they're it's, an, it's intimidation, and it is to get you to shut up. See, they're not muzzling you anymore, so they're trying to get you to shut up. They're trying to get you to s scare down. Don't. I didn't say act out. I didn't say go out and show out in front of people. I said, start praying and understand that this is where we're going and this is what we're going to do. I want you to be spiritually and mentally prepared. If you haven't noticed, I don't know why God put this on me, but prior to Monday, I already made two videos last week about mental health. Don't ask me why I did. It's just the, that's, I don't schedule my videos. <laughs> I'm not like everybody else and has a schedule, you know, 12 o'clock every other day. That's cute. I think that's great they do that, but I don't. I can't do that. I didn't even know I was going to do this today, okay? But what I'm saying is, is you, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to, we're all going to have to look around and go, we're going to have to be really smart. If you can prepare your home, step one, pray, okay? Pray, 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 pray. Okay. Step two, you're going to have to be peaceful. Do not get baited into this ridiculous fight that they are trying to absolutely catfish you into. That is what's going on. I do believe that. I'm not saying at some point you should never self-defend your, you know, defend yourself in a sense. I'm not saying that. I'm saying understand what's going on here. You need to try your best to prepare your home. That doesn't mean you're scared. That means you're smart. Guys, you know what's going on with Brazil. I didn't make a video. Everything happened so fast yesterday. You know the whole thing with Brazil and China happened two days ago. I'm, oh, you want to see Bigfoot? James, it looks like James. Look here. I made a t-shirt with James on it. <laughs> So, guys, I think Glenn Beck is absolutely correct, and I encourage you to go watch some of his latest videos talking about Venezuela. What do you think that's going to be like? Has anybody thought about that? I mean, I mean yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in going and, and, uh, and uh, protesting something or, or arguing with somebody today. I sat there today, and I went, or yesterday, and the day before, and I went, when you start throwing out Venezuela, uh, I think that's where we need to be, what we need to be thinking about right now. Okay? Yes, Heather's on it. Heather already knows. Heather already knows. Get yourself spiritually and mentally ready. I've already listened to me this morning when I was I was walking that driveway as fat you wouldn't believe it. I had flames coming out the bottom of my feet. I, I didn't run today because I had my boots on, but I was like, I'm gonna walk it out. And I caught I was like, uh, you remember what I told you? You hey, how you doing? Good morning. I love you. Listen, I, I don't know if you've listened to anything that I've said. I know. You think I'm nuts. You think I'm nuts now? No, I'm not. Uh, are the beanie weenies on your shelf? You better, you bet, you better get up today. You better make it count. Did that. I have touched base with everybody that I feel I need to touch base with today, and I said my, I said again, because that's where I feel led. I'm like, they're, if they don't listen to me, I'll put my head down tonight and I'll say my prayer. And I said, Lord, I did it. I did it again. I told him again. I told him again. I'm gonna keep telling them. Lord, I'm gonna keep telling. Okay, I'll tell. Okay, I won't shut up. Check in with your family and friends. You better be doing it. See, this is the thing. A lot of people don't understand this. I had a really good conversation with a farmer about this today, too. And we were talking about this. Don't get offended. Don't get upset with me. And um, she, she and her husband have a huge farm. And she was like, I know people that are, that are she said, they're, they're just, they just think they're just going to come out here and like have a farm. And I said, she said, I don't have the heart to tell them. And I'm like, I know. Here's what I'm saying to you. Being prepared, whether you buy a farm, whether you learn to milk a cow, whether you learn to butcher a hog, whether you are trying to can, a lot of these things take time. You don't, time is not our friend anymore, people. 
It really isn't. It really is not. That's why I tell been saying over and over and over why you hear other people like a broken record over you just roll your eyes so hard you see your brain didn't you I know you have I know some of you, you're like oh god here she goes again god. because it's been placed on our hearts to continually tell you we are here we are motivated and we are convicted to get on your nerves <laughs> so bad but you know what? Maybe one day somebody will go, I better go get some canned food today. You know this farmer? She specifically went over her pantry with me today. I didn't ask her. We were just talking about buying things and doing things and whatever. And she said, I, I said, she started going, I've got all of my canned things and I've got all this and I've got, she said, but you know what? I make sure I have X amount of canned green beans. I have X from the Piggly Wiggly's Food City Kroger. She said, I absolutely make sure that I have all of these things. I said, it's because you're not guaranteed that harvest, right? She said, that's exactly right. So there's no shame in the game. You keep doing it, rotate it, work with it work it own it whatever but don't stop okay do not stop understand that people like you people like me have been placed into these positions for a reason there are days that i i sit I, i'm not lying do you I, i'm like i don't know why i've been told to do this shouldn't i just be making cute videos about chickens and buy a drone and not worry about life right now i mean is that what I'm supposed to? And God said, no. No, you're supposed to make people mad. Because <laughs> you're telling them to get busy. So that's where that's where I feel I am. I, I just, you know, I, I don't know. But that's where you are too. You're not trying to make people mad. It just automatically makes people upset. And I think it's because they're being convicted. Now, whether they pay attention to it, you know what? I think some people are going to start paying attention more. I don't think they're going to have an option. Here's another thing, and I know a lot of you don't agree with me on this, but I'm going to say it again because I feel convicted to say it. If you can get out of debt, don't let these little debts hang around on you and interest rates go nuts on you. Please pay off your debts. We do not know the time. Somebody's like, well, if the dollar's going to collapse and we're all going to be doing all these things, what does it matter? They will still want their money. <laughs> I am going to tell you, somebody asked me the other day, um, and don't get mad at me because I have a, I have a, you know, I was talking about not wasting your money on gel nails, eyelashes, and massages. Listen, I'm not telling you to not have special moments every now and then to make you feel good. Whatever that is, I, hopefully it's a good thing, you know, helping somebody, going to get a pedicure. I, hey, I'll tell you what. If everything that I have set out to do between now and May 15th gets done, my Mother's Day post heck weeks gift to myself, I may I might go get a pedicure. I might take my, my troll feet. <laughs> I don't have troll feet. I might. That's okay. That's a treat. I want you ladies to understand I'm not picking on you. What I'm trying to get you to do is to, for at least a time period, say, I'm going to take care of my house, my debts, my pantry, and my, new, my due diligence first with myself, my time, and my money. And when I get so much done, I can treat myself. Some people took me the wrong way on that. I, must have mis I, I apologize if I misrepresented. I'm saying if you're not doing these things to help your family and all your time and money is all over here and doing these things, you think, and some, cause somebody said, I have to get a massage. I'm so stressed out. And I'm like, do you know how much less stress you might have if you had more food in the pantry? If you were doing your exercise every day, if you paid off your car, I'm not being ugly. I swear I'm not. I'm just like the best stress relief I ever got in my life is when I became debt free. I suddenly didn't need expensive coffees and a pedicure, and a manicure. I, I, I just didn't, I, I just didn't need it. I mean, they were, you know, they were good if I wanted it, but do you know what I'm saying? We, we can find you some stress relief. And so I want you to be responsible so that you can feed your babies. I want you feeding your babies. Then I had another lady tell me that I'm supposed to be telling you 
that you should be getting manicures because she's a manicurist. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. I appreciate, I understand you're under stress right now because that's what you do as a living. My living is, you you do your thing, boo. I'll do mine. I, I think it's great if people come and get manicures from you, but I want them to feed their babies first. I think you want that for your people, right? Yes. yes. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't get sucked in. And anybody that is trying to suck you in to dis further destruction of our people, you get you better get away from them people. And you, well, first of all, I'm gonna correct them whether whether they like it or not. But get away from them. Do not be influenced by people that want you to be combative. I'm not saying to be a sucker and lay down and take stuff. I'm saying I'm telling you. Don't get out and show out and pick fights with people because you're giving them what they want. If you haven't thought about that, you need to understand that. They are going to engage you and they're going to flip it on you. No, you're too busy. Last time I checked, you people should be planting corn soon. Yes, yes, yeah. Going to get that medicinal herb garden going? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, Jack, we don't show out. Daddy shows up when you show out. My daddy said, don't, don't, don't show out. Don't, 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 just, just don't show out. That's what, <laughs> that, I don't know if that's a southern thing or what, but my dad always said, don't show out. Don't, or, or don't be cute. That's his, that is, that is my dad. Stop. Now don't be cute. Stop being cute. Don't be cute. Don't be cute. That's not a compliment. <laughs> right? Never a compliment. Yes, you should be planting potatoes and um, prepping your yard, prepping whatever right now. There's all kinds of things that you can be picking if you haven't put chemicals in the yard, of course. And you could be, uh, your Dandelions are coming up. Don't you need to be making some dandelion jelly right now? That's right. That's right. Yes, you do. Yes, you could. Get the flyer this weekend. Okay, we got me. We, okay, we got ground chuck. Hey, hey, baby, I got a coupon right here. Ground rounds on sale. We're going to go get some. We're going to can it up. <laughs> yeah, we are. That's how you're going to be living right now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God's going to take care of all this other stuff. God's going to take care of it. I, I promise you. I promise myself. I promise all of us. I don't know how and when. It ain't up for us. We're just kind of floating around here. But we need to be very, very busy. Do not. Will I ever do another conference? I do not know. Um, I know that ever, I have did four. I, I know. I know it. Right now, I don't feel, I'm going to be honest with you, I have been begged to come do a lot of speaking engagements. I'm actually looking at doing a few. Um, <clears throat> and I don't charge. Nah. I, I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, I told James the other day, I said, if I do a, another homesteading conference, I said, I'll, I said, you know what I want to do? I want to do it for free. Last time I had a homesteading conference was in 2019. Uh, 2020 and 21 got canceled due to COVID and every veteran and active military were free. I'm hoping that next time I do one, if I do one, I want tickets to be, if I'd sell tickets at all, I want them to be just enough to cover like the rental, like $5 or something. I told James, we were, we were driving over one of the bridges down here going on 321 not too long ago. And I said, I, I, I don't want to, I said, I don't want to charge them. I don't want to charge you. Mm-mm. I don't want to charge you. So, I always have security. <laughs> Treasures, let me back it on up. Let me, I, I'm not being cute, I promise. I assure you that when you came to my past conferences, you were covered in the blanket of security that you didn't even know you were covered in. Give me some love right there. Uh-uh, I ain't no dummy. I have, I, I, no, long before all these shenanigans, I'm telling you, you had more security than you ever dreamed you had. Yeah, man. Yeah. Put a heart on it because I was loving on you and you didn't know it. I assure you. Uh-uh. Plenty of security. Promise. 
promise. We like to involve ourselves with uh, veterans and um, police officers and patriots. Believe me, you were blanketed in a lot of security. Don't you even worry about it, sugar. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. The, the world's upside down right now. And uh, I feel like right now my place is working at home. And uh, I may do some, some uh, if I do uh, some speaking things, I'll announce them. Um, and uh, no, I do not charge. Now, I can't, I can't drive it to like, you know, Kansas or something. But <laughs> I, I, I can't leave my farm. But uh, yeah, I've got some stuff coming up here in East Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I'll let you know. But I'm trying to get everything. I'm on my, I've put myself on this crazy schedule till May 15th. And uh, I got something major done today for our farm and uh, farm things. And, and that's just one thing I've got to, um, to do. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're, we're all good. So listen, I want to say I love you. I know a lot of you are just, it's like you don't even recognize your country anymore. Um, I know. I know, I know, and um, I don't look for it to be getting any better anytime soon. Um, there's going to come a time and place where God's going to tell you what you're supposed to do, so trust in that, but I'm here to tell you right now, my duty today, I woke up first thing this morning, and um, my phone went ding, ding, and like I said, um, I'm going to tell you right now, Miss Lou said, you need to be telling everybody about Jesus. We got to be telling you right now. And a lot, that's, some people look at that and they're like, what? Um, just because you are Native American, whatever language you want, Cherokee, Indigenous, Indian, I, I get so, I, I, I'm not being, I'm not being ugly here, but it does get exhausting to try to not, I'm, I'm <laughs> that's exhausting. Miss Lou wants me to tell you, just like my mother would, just like my Nana would tell you about Jesus and you don't need to be afraid and you don't need to be backing down because we're going to be held accountable if we don't listen to what we're being told to do and even people right now that hate us that misconstrue everything that we say take us out of context we love them too you know why we're supposed to love them? Because God loves them too. That doesn't mean we accept being railroaded. I get that. There's a lot of wrongdoing. And we're all going to be held accountable for whatever we've done. I get that. And they are too. They are. So, don't be afraid. I, I literally started crying when I, an elderly woman today told me how scared she was. I'm serious <clears throat> because I don't know what their circumstances are and um, we just don't know, but she said she was very scared. So you need to be praying for not only to the guidance, and me too, for what we need to be doing, but there's a lot of people that don't know what to do right now. So we've got to, we've got to, this is our opportunity to do for these people. If we can't do anything for them, we can witness to them and we can try our best to give them the hope that's there. It's very sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. It's very sad. Our elderly, our veterans, and our babies have absolutely been, what's the word? I don't even know. I don't even know. Our veterans, our elderly, and our unborn babies, folks, gonna have to stand up for what's right. But listen, I was thinking about you today. I thought about making this into a video, and then I, I came out and I went. James said, "Where?" James looked up at me. I said, "I'm doing a live stream." He said, "You are?" I said, "Yeah." I didn't know it, but I am. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> listen. You people that are watching that are in the UK, that are, I'm getting a lot of people from Ireland uh, and, and in the UK, Australia, and Canada. 
And um, folks, there's a lot of us. Don't forget that. Woodstock, uh, we have a Woodstock here. <laughs> Woodstock at Pateras. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm telling you, we're in for it. So you just need to be prepared. Get right, get right with God like we've been saying the last couple of weeks. Listen to what you're told to do. You know what that is. Prepare your pantries, prepare your home. The people that are around, there are so many people that are around the world that are literally holding their breath. I'm not joking. If you don't believe it, look, here's one right there. They are holding their breath at this point and they are saying, hold the line, America. They are. Do not think that they're, they're watching everything. See, this is the thing that a lot of people like to, to, to put into one. We uphold ourselves as free citizens and Americans or as patriots or as people, great people of this great nation. We uphold and, and want to protect the Constitution of the United States. The government is a separate entity in our minds, right? That's right. We want to be law-abiding honest living people that is what the majority of americans are don't let anybody tell you different this is no matter how many people want to get on here or anywhere else and tell you how we deserve everything that we're no 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 the the people of this country the majority of the people of this country are the best creme de la creme it doesn't mean there's, and, there, and there's others all around the world too. All around the world. You come from them. You come from it, right? That's right. We came from Antrim. That's right. Can you imagine what life was like when your sixth great grandfather and your, or your sixth great grandmother was coming over from Belfast and had three little boys and was having was nine months pregnant and gave birth on one of those ships on the six week voyage, landed in Pennsylvania, survived, survived the revolution, came down through Virginia, came down into North Carolina made more generations, intermingled and intermarried with indigenous people, and somehow you fast forward and you're here and you think that's by accident? No, no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. That's right. That's right. So you're here for a reason. We just need to be smart about it, okay? Well, guys, I hope you're having an excellent Friday. I know you've probably had a better Friday. And, uh, you know, we have to be kind of shaken up and waking up, shaken baked, right? To finally go, okay, game on. It's here. I have no idea what's coming as far as all the finances. If you're not up to date with all the things that are going on with the dollar, the petrodollar, um, I would be updating myself immediately. Um, I would be preparing whatever you need to do for what's best for you with your finances. Get that in order. And um, I know people that, I, I totally commend people for planting their gardens and for canning their own food. Yes, you need to be doing that, but I'd be getting to the stores and I'd be getting things and putting them on the shelf. Definitely, 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 definitely. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just gonna leave it at that, yes. Yeah, that's that, that. Somebody said that was the story of their grandma. That's the story of my grandmother. <laughs> As, now, she didn't give birth to my grandfather. She'd already had him. But she had his younger brother on the ship. We ain't talking about a, we ain't talking about a Disney cruise. <laughs> Ooh, anyway. <laughs> right? Can you imagine that baby made it? That baby survived. That baby survived, those babies survived. Don't tell me you're not meant to be here. 
don't you do it. Yeah, I ain't, uh, uh, no, you couldn't pay me to get on a cruise. No. 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 No, I got I got I got goats about ready to start breeding out here. I don't have time to go on a cruise. <laughs> uh -uh. No, no. Jada's got it. Jada just told you, and um, it is abs th This is why Jada just said it. If you saw her comment, folks, you're not guaranteed anything in your gardens. Please don't think. Please don't think that that's all you need to do. Yes, it's important. Yes, it's for self-reliance. Yes, it's to seed save. Yes, it's for future of all that. Yes, but what if your garden fails this year? Now, Vicky's joined in from Murphy. She said, oh Lord, that mean Murphy girl is on there. I wasn't born in Murphy, but my, <laughs> go past my Nana and they were, pretty much, yes. You are not guaranteed. I want you to get your seeds and I want you to put them in the ground, okay? But I'm telling you right now, you absolutely need to be packing your pantry as much as you can. Whatever. I'm not even going to tell you what to buy anymore because I get, yeah, if I tell you to eat spam, somebody tries to argue with me about sodium content. I'm like, if the dollar collapses and the world is on fire, you're seriously going to be standing around debating about sodium content in a can of spam when you haven't eaten in two days? Here's your sign. <laughs> We're going to have to start giving out some jobs. Hey, we, you know what? I don't know. We should make different signs. What should we say? So Jesus loves you. Yes. Jesus loves you. Um, and uh, bless your heart. And get a clue. That's going to be my third. I'm going to make business cards. From now on, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to start looking at people. If I go out, if I if I go to like, uh, I don't know, if I go down to the Piggly Wiggly, and so, I'm going to, bless your heart. <laughs> Remember all that? Here's your sign. Here's your sign. <laughs> Dixon, Tennessee. I don't, have I been to Dixon, Tennessee? Have I been to Dixon, Tennessee? I don't know if I've been to Dixon, Tennessee. I don't know. Well, the, the greenhouse is, is that's part of my that's part of my six week plan. The, the The greenhouse was supposed to be finished last week when James had took vacation, and then we decided to be like three days of rain and twelve degrees again. So you know how that goes. So that that kind of I was I did I fussed. I said, of course it's going to be bad weather. You took vacation. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I was just out in Sweetwater the other day. I went to the Rural King. I'm going to tell you, their, their stock is low. It ain't looking too good. Just keep working. Even if you feel the pressure, I'm behind schedule. We're always going to be behind schedule. Just keep going. Put yourself on a schedule and keep going. Just just keep, 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 keep going. Don't worry about it. Just go. I, I That plays with my mind, too. And I get upset and I start and, and then I'm like, that didn't change anything. Miss Lou is doing great. That's who we've been talking about in the in the here, and uh, she's doing really, really good, y'all. Um, you know that she is um, cancer free. They got it all. So she's doing. She's recovering from her surgery and all of that. But she's back at it. You can't stop that woman. You can forget it. She's crazy. She is crazy on fire. You can never put her down. She is. She might be down for a day or two, and she's gonna sit up and look at you and go, "Let's go." That's how it is. That's why I'm saying she first thing this morning, she said, baby, you better be telling people about Jesus. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But what I was saying was about, um, you know, a lot of indigenous people, Native Americans, ask each individual person. Somebody asked me, they're like, we don't want to offend anybody. What do you like to be called? I'm like, I, I don't. My great grandmother went by Indian, so she didn't. We, we didn't have these conversations. And Miss Lou, the point is, a lot of them are. Not only do they have very special and sacred beliefs, yes, but a lot of them are Christians. A lot of them. I don't think that gets uh, like. I think a lot of people don't know that. And uh, Miss Lou is a devout Christian, so Baptist. Okay. You might get thunked in the head or tickled with the feather. I don't know. <laughs> in those old missionary Baptist churches, you better behave. You, don't you fall asleep. You'll get tickled or you'll get thunked. You better watch out. 
<laughs> right? Well, guys, we're going to break. I don't have, do I have a, no, there's no tornado here. Is there a tornado coming? I, I, I'm too busy. I'm talking to you. No, I hope not. We're going to pray against that too, right? Go on that. Don't come down here. Yes. Yes. We're all in this. We are all in this. We are all in, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to tell you, you want to talk about snake charmers, you talk to James. You talk to James. I, I didn't, I've never attended a church with, with, um, I, I'll be honest with you. I have not. I have not. <laughs> James is a different story. <laughs> Believe it or not. I, I told you all my husband was Pentecostal. I, I think he still is Pentecostal. <laughs> yes. People, my husband went, grew up going to church five days a week. Five days a week. That's all my husband knew. That's right. Well, listen, I know my phone's going to click off. Tornadoes are in Arkansas. Okay, I knew there was bad weather coming. Yeah. No, James will not touch a snake. It that's don't I don't want, James is not a snake handling Pentecostal person. James runs from snakes. I'm I have you if there's a snake on the property, I I I do it. He, I let him handle the spiders. <laughs> we trade it off in our roles. I, I you, you just handle the spider. I whatever, whatever. I I I don't seriously. I was bit by a spider and about made my leg fall off about 10 years ago. So I, I have a, you have that. I did. I, it was bad. I had to go to the doctor three times in six months. I was eating my whole leg down below my shin. Y'all be careful. Y'all be careful when you're planting outside. Everything's coming out. I'm serious. You got to be careful. It, it was, it was straight up crazy. All right, guys, listen. If you're, if you're just now popping in, I'm going to say it to close it out. Don't be fearing what's happening. Don't turn off what you need to know what's happening. Okay? Stay in the know. Digest it. And get up. And get moving. Okay? If you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, I am hoping and praying that you are convicted today in your heart, you are pricked to finally sit down and talk it out with God and let it happen. Everybody is asking me what to do. I just told you what to do because from that point, he's going to tell you what you need to do. I can't come into your home and tell you how to stack your pantry. I can give you tips and I can show you what I do and I can give you my little loud mouth opinion, but that's not what, that's not what you want. If you want, if you're seeking what I know you are and you want the answers to all of these things, there's your answer. And I hope and pray that I have not tuned or turned anybody off. I hope at least you're going to think about it and pray about it. And let that decision come to you. And when it comes over you, when it comes over you, let it happen. Don't let the devil stop it. Don't let the devil engage you in fight. Don't let the devil divide us anymore. All of these children, all of these young people running around are so confused. We have got to take care of ourselves and put ourselves there first in terms of these things so that we can be a witness to these lost people. There's so many lost people. There's so many lost people. And we're not going to fight with them. We're not going to fight with them. We're not going to fight with them. Marie is a Navajo nation. Do not give the devil what he wants. Like I said earlier in the live stream, if do I have bantams all day long? Yes, ma'am. Um, this is why I put out, I don't know if you follow me on my other social media. I said on 
Monday into Tuesday. I said to, it was Tuesday. I had to digest what all happened on Monday. I said, please, for the love of everything under the sun, do not engage. Do not go out anywhere where you know there's going to be a scene and you're going to be engaged. Don't, 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 don't do. I'm not telling you to be a coward. Actually, I think that's actually encouraging you to be the opposite. Okay. Okay. Take care of your business at home. Okay. Gosh, we got a lot of people on this afternoon. Yes. Well, guys, I love you all. I hope you're going to have a super crazy busy weekend. We are. I'm going to try to get more videos coming up. My schedule's like this. I'm folk. I'm laser focused. Okay. Yes. They want to start a war, Kat. They want to, that's what they want. And then they want to turn around and blame you for it. No, we're not giving it to them. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you something really eerie. And I told Miss Lou this. I don't know if I should tell you this, but I'm going to tell. I was up in the field day before yesterday. I went out. Enoli took her a little. Enoli likes to eat her food. And then she takes the bowl and she drags it around the entire field because she plays with it. And I went out to get it and I picked it up. I picked it up, picked it up. And I turned around and I saw James, he was filling up the cow trough. And I said, are we living 1860? He was like, what? I can't hear you. You know, he's doing all that. I, I, I said, James, are we living 1860? And he said, baby, I, I don't know. I said, I feel like we're living 1860. Do you know what I mean? Take that as you want. I'm not saying, I'm saying, imagine the tension and the stress and all the things that our grandmothers felt in 1860, 1861. We should learn from that. We should learn from that. We should learn from that. I did. He was like, what? <laughs> what are you? Are you getting a vision? What, what are you? Did you dream something? I'm like, just answer the question. And he, then he realized I was like, and he was like, okay. Don't give it. Learn from it. Don't learn from Okay, somebody tell Dokta what's 1860. <laughs> I'm not talking about not having electricity. Although, you know, that could always happen too. <laughs> okay? What do you think your mamas and your papas would have told you in 1860? How to be smarter. Right? Right? We got to be smarter. Yes, yes, 1860. I got wild turkey, look. How many are there? Uh, two. Oh, my babies are back, three. So I've got wild turkey tom. Oh, I've got a turkey tom, a wild one. And those are his three girls. Those are his girlfriends. And they're roosting in the top of my trees over here. Where's he at? Oh, here they come. Here, did you see them? Here they come. Listen, I'm breaking, okay? I love you. It is dinner time. Have a great weekend. I, they, well, I, they could be dinner. I don't know. <laughs> I make a mean turkey. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope I made you feel a little bit better today. I hope that you are focusing, and I, we just appreciate you. We're just here talking together, and I appreciate you being here with me and being together as a, a, a great, great group and family. And I want you to know that we are family. Even if we don't necessarily all like each other all the time, you know, you know, when you go to Easter and your sister-in-law comes in and she's wearing some loud outfit on Easter, you're going to roll your eyes, but you still love her. God love her heart. Give her her sign. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bless your heart. <laughs> God love it. You know, you've got, I know you've got that person in your family, don't you? know you do. 
I know you they walk in and your eyes roll back so hard you see your brain but you still love her I hope maybe not we'll just pretend you do <laughs> God love it that's right stand firm but be peaceful watch the signs folks watch the signs all right now how do I get off this crate they changed all this stuff how do I you uh, look protect did Patera go to the Dollar General today? And is Patera's preparing. She's got two pa Jeb, Jeb, are you watching the live stream? Uh huh. Yeah, Patera's on there. She's she she's on fire today. Yeah, Jeb. Yeah. I, she is. She's talking all kinds of crazy stuff. War of aggression, 1860. She's she's witnessing to people. I, there's, she got wild turkeys in there. And look, 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 look in that back seat. Yeah, she's prepping. Yeah, she went and bought toilet paper. Yes! <laughs> Look, Tara went to Dollar General. Looky there. Uh-huh. Looky there. My little booty is going to be prepared. Is your booty going to be covered? That's what you need to be thinking about. My booty is covered. Okay? That's right. I don't have to use my corn cobs. I went to the Dollar General and I picked up some toilet paper because they've got the best deal on toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. Jeb, I don't know what she's doing. She's got, yep, look there. Th th those look like aluminum pans. Yep, she's going to be panning for gold somewhere. Go Have you seen gold prices today? Sh yeah, but there's going to be panning for gold. That's right. I don't know where, but she's, uh, that she, <laughs> my booty's covered. Is your booty covered? Don't worry about my booty, Jeb. Jeb, don't worry about Patera's booty. Worry about your own, okay? All right. I love y'all. <laughs> Jeb, God loves you. Y'all pray for Jeb. I pick on him so much. I do. <laughs> love you. Have a good weekend. We'll have more videos coming up. Get out there. Be positive. Be preparing. And tell everybody you know that Jesus has them. I was I did what I was told today. I'll continue to do what I was told today. Miss Lou did what she was told. She was told to tell people to tell people about Jesus. And I said, I'm doing what you told me to do because I'm I'm gonna do it. That's right. And go get your toilet paper. Love you bye.